Hello fellow YouTubians, this is Russell White with Automation Technologies and now also PLCMentor.com. I want to put a quick video onto YouTube and explain uh, a new site that we have now. Uh, and It's actually something that uh, came about because of YouTube. Saw a need uh, via some videos we put on YouTube and this site will give us the capability to be a little bit more flexibility in the presentation of these videos maybe give you a little larger format easier to see so in this video I'd like to introduce PLC Mentor site and give you a feel for what we're trying to present here and, and what we have in the plans in the future so what is this PLC Mentor site PLC Mentor is a site that is dedicated to training and primarily automation training. So whereas PLC is in the name and, and yes it's something that, um, that we will hit upon, there's a lot of different things about automation that we hope to go into right here. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at the site right now. Um, we're on the home page. This is where you would come. You'd see the account log on if you came there. I know some of you have, have come to the site. I appreciate that. Your first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and register. The register button is right here up at the right side of the screen. Now, you can look at some videos. We have another site that we're trying to uh, yeah, give a little bit of information on, and we don't want people to have to log on that are coming over from that site for information so there are some videos that are available but when you when you register you'll get the whole library of videos that we have available at this point let's look at the registration process I'll click on the register text there and we'll go to a screen where it'll ask me for my username so I can put uh, Russell Whoops! I will say <laughs> as I'm making this mistake this is your username your first name and your last name and then we can put a display name like uh, oh video guy so yes it's, it's highly imaginative put your email address Ooh, I probably shouldn't put that <laughs> Uh, at xyz.com say for example now you want to go ahead and put a password down here and then you want to click on the register button and you will have a log on at that point now after you've registered you're not quite on yet so your next step is to wait for your email to come so yes you did need to put a valid email address in where it asks for your email and once you get that email address you will or once you get that email to you you will get an email similar to this uh, where it tells you the website tells you your username it will have a password and a verification code all you need to do is click on the link and it will take you enter the verification code enter your username all you'll have to do is enter in uh, the code that, to keep the automated uh, logon things from from doing their uh, you know doing their damage and, and creating bunches of automated logons. Uh, you've seen those things before. They have all the different weird text. It is case sensitive, so do make sure that you use the right case when you when you do that. But then you put your password in, and at that point, you will be logged on and authenticated, and you can use the site freely. Now I of course already have a log on so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, if you're coming back to the site this is the way you'd get on go ahead and type in your username here's a security code I was mentioning earlier that I was stuttering all about notice it is case sensitive I'm putting a capital G 77Q I'll go ahead and enter in my password Now I've clicked log on and now I am logged onto the site and able to 
look and go around all the different items uh, that are available. Now I notice on the training videos, now I've got the full breadth of what's available. Some of these videos are the same videos that you'll see on the YouTube or you may have seen on our site if you came to our site previously. If you come down to the RS Logics training series, you'll notice there's other videos. There's new videos. If you hover above that video, you can um, get an idea of what that video is about if it will behave it seems like my my recording software is actually having and creating a difficulty with that and if you click on that now it will go ahead and let you see the video and you can go ahead and I can, can compete with myself here and video on a video and this will let you then start to view the videos. You can click on to the next video if that's not the one you wanted to watch and, and see a different video. So and also I do have you know we do have videos on instrumentspec.com if that's something you're interested in on training and we have overview videos on that if you're interested in what exactly it's about. Now the other big item right now we plan to have articles, we plan to have um, actually some correspondence training and other items that I think will be interested of interest to a large uh, YouTube population right now but a big thing right now is our forum I think this is an area that will find or that you will find useful um, we have tips we have uh, different uh, and, and, and tricks and gotchas things that we've had that have just tripped us up and we've we've be already beat our head against the wall trying to figure it out so uh, that maybe we can maybe we can make it a little easier on you. Now it's a little light. There's there since we're new, we don't have a ton of different things in the form, but I do have several 20-year veterans in the automation industry that are checking on this site daily to see if there's any questions available, so that they might be able to answer and, and help you with any problem you might be having. Doesn't matter if it's a small, uh, say it's a, a classroom problem that you have. We'll be happy to help out in whatever way we can. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you come and visit us soon at plcmentor.com.